Shalom, shalom, everybody. Welcome back to another Pulse of Israel episode. As you see, I am not in our ancestral homeland, the land of Israel, the Judean hills, or Jerusalem. I am in South Florida in the office of David Weinberg. Shalom, David. Shalom, Avi. So good to have you here. And we love all of your uh, information that uh, you're bringing us from, uh, from Israel. Well, thank you so much. So I met David over my stay, my speaking tour here in Southern Florida. And David told me about his unbelievable and heartwarming initiative for Israeli soldiers. And the foundation is called what? Healing Souls Healing Foundation? Healing Souls Foundation.org. All right. So David, as here we're sitting in his office here in, in South Florida, but in the water somewhere or in a number of places, David has boats and he wants to use those boats to help Israeli soldiers. Take it away. What is this special initiative you're, you're working on? So I like, I think, um, you know, Jews all over the world, when October 7th ha happened, we, you know, I was thinking, oh my God, what can I do? How can I help? Do I run to Israel? Do I volunteer? And um, I have a lot of family there and they, they were saying, no, stay where you are, help out there. Uh, we need uh, people praying and getting the information out. And um, so I, step by step, I realized that, you know, since I have boats that I use uh, for ocean cleanups and uh, educational purposes, and um, it would be a great opportunity to invite Israeli wounded uh, soldiers and families of hostages or families that have lost loved ones to come and stay on the boat and to get a little piece of, of heaven to you know, enjoy um, themselves a little bit. And being on a boat in the Bahamas, we've, we have invited uh, American wounded warriors and veterans on the boat. And it's been very heartwarming to, to see you know, how much they enjoyed it. And they've told me it's been the best therapy they've ever had. And I know I feel the same way whenever I'm out in nature and um, you know, being on the boat, sleeping on the boat, and you wake up to beautiful sunrises and you go to sleep to incredible sunsets. Uh, we pick you up at the airport and we take you to a small dinghy boat which then whisks you off to the bigger boat, which is anchored behind an island. And you get on the boat, and right around the boat, you can see the turtles coming up for air. It's crystal clear. I say that again, and right, right after getting off the boat, you... So you, you get onto the, uh, the big boat, and right in that area, you'll see the turtles you know, coming up. It's very serene and peaceful. The water is crystal clear. And there's areas, you know, within paddleboard distance um, or even swimming or a little dinghy ride where there's stingrays that are fed on the beach. And you can just, you sit there and the stingrays just kind of smother you and you feed them little pieces of fish. And um, it's an incredible interaction. And there's snorkel places all around and amazing places to explore the paddleboarding and the snorkeling and kayaking is is beautiful and it's really healing so i've been doing this for myself and american wounded warriors and vets so i thought this is the time you know to open the door to um you know the israelis who have been going through uh you know a, a terrible terrible time yeah no i mean uh, the the therapy for for trauma as you're as you're noting for by using nature especially being out in the water, disconnected from everything else, and just there, one with nature, under the sky, with the water. I haven't experienced it myself as a trauma therapy, but I am almost 100% certain it is a real, real help to anyone who is living with, with that trauma, especially the idea of soldiers or families of, uh, of captives. Yeah, I mean, we, we haven't had anybody yet that has been through such a trauma of this particular war. But we've had, you know, uh, wounded vets. And um, they, they've told me, you know, while they were hugging me and, and tears falling that it was the best therapy that they've ever had. 
And um, so that's why I'm opening up the doors to uh, invite uh, the fellow Jews in, in Israel, our Maccabees, our, our fighters, the, the King Davids, who are going out there and putting their lives on the line for the entire Jewish nation, um, that I want to be, you know, I want to be supportive and, and thank them, you know, in any and every way that I can. And, and this is something that I can do. I think we all have a gift, a talent, something that we can do. And this is, um, you know, my way of, of, of saying thank you and, and trying to, to give back to, you know, all the young soldiers and families that have been through so much. That's, that's amazing. And um, just, as, just as a simple Jew individual, I want to say thank you on behalf of your initiative, on, on behalf of everyone who, in the Jewish people, in the army, soldiers, the state of Israel, for your large S in using your time, your resources, your boats to be able to do this. And uh, I want to take a little break. Is this okay, David? Sure. I want to take a little break, everyone. And stick with me. We'll be back in one second immediately for you. So don't go anywhere. Here we go. So I'm back, folks. And I'm not alone. David's with me. But here we are. We are at his... This is one little boat that he has here in South Florida. And he's got five larger boats in the Bahamas. So let's go on the boat. All right, David. Here we are. What, does this boat have a name? Yes, this boat is called Cure for Earth. Cure for Earth. And this is all part of uh, the Healing Souls Foundation. And uh, David's looking forward to hosting IDF soldiers um, on those boats in the Bahamas to as part of their healing process. Absolutely. And this is the style of boat that we'll be using to go play around. We can go fishing. Um, we can go snorkeling, scuba diving, island hopping. So we have several boats like this that we'll use to um, go sightseeing and, and uh, really enjoy the Bahamas. And David was telling me about even bigger plans. I don't know if you want to go live on, on, on camera, but uh, he's got big plans to really help uh, as many IDF soldiers as he's gonna, going to be able to. Uh, in the ways that he is able to, thanks to the boats and the Bahamas and nature. Absolutely. We plan to add uh, more larger boats. And uh, my dream uh, is to be able to have a minion on the boats. A minion, 10 Israeli soldiers. Yeah. Plus maybe a chef, you know, cook up some uh, nice Israeli uh, falafel and some fresh fish. And to be able to have, uh, you know, Shabbat services and a Torah on board. And, uh, you know, daven to uh, Hashem in these beautiful islands. Whenever I'm there, it's, it's, it's an incredible connection to Hashem. So I think that uh, having a minion, which I've never had before, would be a, a really amazing experience for all of us. Wow. So, uh, again, I can only imagine how... Uh wonderful and and healing especially for for the soul so this is a family initiative here we have Leia Weinberg David's daughter and what can you tell these soldiers what they're going to be experiencing when they go out on the boats with your father or even you out in the Bahamas so uh, we have a few boats there uh, and then there's a beach where you can play volleyball you can just relax you can swim you can play with stingrays and can see turtles and it's very beautiful there so they're gonna be excited to do this very amazing and do you also drive boats yep I also drive boats I've been driving boats since I was like five all right folks you're gonna be enjoying it thank you Leia and how can how can people reach out to you if they they have uh, soldiers um, who they want to take part in this in this beautiful initiative of yours so they'll be able to reach out on our email, which is healingsoulsfoundation.org at gmail.com. And they can also look us up on social media, on Instagram, at Healing Souls Foundation. There you go, guys. All right, so again, you know, I'm always talking to you about how, even though we had this tragedy of October 7th, and we're still in that sadness, and we're still in that trauma, 
but we're seeing the beauty of the Jewish people come together, or the beauty of the Jewish people in the land of Israel, because it's a different level being there. But here, so many beautiful, beautiful initiatives of Jews all over the world coming together, and that's what we're all about. That's why we are winning, and we will win this war, both on the ground and in the heavens. Shalom, everyone. Thanks for watching another episode of Pulse of Israel. David, thank Shalom. you so much. Thank you, Avi. All right. Am See you back. Am Yisrael Chai. See you back in the Holy Land of Israel, signing off from sunny Southern Florida. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.